Welcome to question number one. In this question we're given that a curve C is described by the equation 3x squared minus 2y squared plus 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. And we have to find an equation of the normal to C at the point 0, 1 giving our answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a, b and c are integers. And if you do this question it's worth 7 marks. So you might like to have a go, just pause the video and come back when ready to check your answer. OK, welcome back if you had a go and let's just see how you got on. Well if we've got to find the equation of a normal to this curve then the first thing we've got to do is establish the gradient. So I'm going to first of all establish the gradient at any point x, y on this curve by differentiating it with respect to x. And differentiating this kind of function is called implicit differentiation. So uh, if you're not too sure on implicit differentiation then uh, just view our tutorial on this. OK, so differentiating with respect to x, I'm going to write that here, what I'm going to do, which is differentiate with respect to x. I feel that's a good idea, just to give a little intro. OK, differentiating the first term is going to give us 6x. Differentiating the second term will be minus 4y, and then it will be followed by dy by dx. Differentiating the third term, plus 2x gives plus 2. Differentiating the fourth term gives minus 3, but then don't forget dy dx is tagged on the end. And differentiating a constant is 0, and then we have equals, and differentiating the constant 0 will also be 0. So I've now got to make dy dx the subject and looking at uh, the terms how they're falling out it would seem sensible to take the second term here and the fourth term here over to the other side. So I'm going to add these terms to both sides. So therefore what I'm going to get then would be just simply 6x plus 2 on the left hand side so 6x plus 2 and that's going to equal 4y dy dx followed by plus 3 dy dx. OK? Now what I see that I can do now is I don't have to do it but I just think it will look better is if I factorize 6x plus 2 so I can take out 2 as a common factor so that will be 2 bracket uh, 3x plus 1 and then creating one term here out of the two would be to factorize this. dy dx is the common factor. So I'm going to write 4y plus 3 and put the dy dx at the rear. OK, always good to put uh, dy dx at the rear of the bracket rather than the front. OK, making dy dx the subject is just simply to divide both sides by 4y plus 3. So dividing both sides by 4y plus 3 is going to leave me with dy dx is going to equal 2 lots of 3x plus 1 and that will be all divided by 4y plus 3. OK, so we've got that far. So this is telling us the gradient at any point x, y on the curve. The gradient, in fact, of the tangent. Now we've got to find the gradient next of the normal to the curve C at the point 0, 1. So what I'm going to do is put in 0, 1 for x and y to get the gradient of the tangent. And from that I'll be able to get the gradient of the normal. So I'll say here that when x equals naught, y equals 1, OK? And I'm going to sub this in, sub into, let's give this a number here, let's call it 1, so I'll just write that in here as number 1, OK? And so we'll say sub into 1, and 
get dy dx equals 2 times the 3x, that would be 3 times 0 which is 0 and then plus 1 so that's just going to be 2 times 1 and that will be all divided by 4 times y y remember was 1 so that's going to be 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 so that's going to give the gradient of the tangent as 2 over 7 so that's 2 sevenths okay and what that's going to mean is that the gradient of the normal will be the inverse of this or the reciprocal of it and then we just switch the sign because remember the product of the gradient should be negative 1 for two perpendicular gradients so that the, the gradient of the normal will be minus 7 over 2 so I'm going to put therefore gradient of normal okay gradient of normal equals minus 7 over 2 Okay, we're getting there now. So all we need now is the equation of this normal. And so we've got the gradient. We've got a point that the normal goes through. x equals naught, y equals 1. So I'm going to use the equation of the line. Uh, you might remember the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And I should be able to uh, state the equation of the normal. So uh, we're going to go in with, therefore, equation of normal. Again, I think you should write a little intro equation of normal. We'll say um, at 0, 1 is, and so I'm using y minus y1, so it's going to be y minus the y1 value, which is the 1 here. So 1 equals the gradient m, which is minus 7 over 2, bracket x minus x1 which is x minus 0. I'll put it in just I know it's going to be x but we just put it in there. Okay so that's the equation of the normal we've now got to get it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a b and c are integers so instead of multiplying this bracket out I'm going to times both sides by 2 and so therefore I'm going to get 2y minus 2 equals minus 7 then times the x there, minus 7x. So we're nearly there. Let's just add 7x to both sides. So we get 7x plus the 2y minus the 2 equals 0. And there we have it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So if you got that, well done. It's worth 7 marks. And that brings us to the end of question 1.